It's Dave with Hammond Motorsports. Been getting a lot of calls about properly squaring the steering on a dirt modified stock car, anything that's a front steer car. Uh, I just want to talk about a couple of things here that you got to do. And uh, first thing you want to do is on your drag link, you want to measure from your grease work to your grease work. Get that measurement. Then come to your idler arm, measure from the grease arc to your steering box up here to the center of your shaft coming out of the box. The drag link and this measurement must be the same first of all. Once you have that, um, then you can do your Xing from your drag link to your box, your drag link to your idler arm. But some of the things you may encounter is right here in the chassis we may have to put some washers right here move the idler arm over or in some cases i've seen it where we've had to take a ziz wheel cut the frame down through here and cut the frame down through here on that side push it in and re-weld it um i think it's pretty important to really keep on the Chevelle front ends and the metrics to just keep the the OEM drag link on there. Um, another thing that we run into a lot of trouble is um, been seeing uh, other drag links get put on the cars where the right front pickup point is moved way out here. Now when it does that, shortens that right tire rod up, you will run into some bump steer issues because you're tire rod length to your a-frame length are not the same and that will change the ratio of when the car goes into bump but uh, just a couple things i wanted to touch on here and like i say just again measure from grease arc to grease arc get that measurement then come up here to your steering box to your idler get that get that square first before you start doing your doing your x from here to here there to there once you get it on the side to side measurements and do your x the next important step is to come up here to your steering shaft somewhere wherever you can and take a couple of vice grips and lock it down so that way the steering shaft does not turn while you're trying to set your toe and just remember if you got a stock box and a quickener you definitely want to get them vice grips as closest to the box as possible so you don't have any slop that could be in your quickener so just a little uh, tip i want to put out there for everybody and uh, thank you have a good night bye